and we found some really interesting things that different ways that you process food, different ways that you sleep or don't sleep much as you go about your life, the stress that you're under, the environment and climate that you're in, all these things impact your gene expression significantly and they impact they impact your gene expression significantly in a very short space of time. I remember I used to do a lot of keynotes about 10 years ago and I remember standing on stage talking about the fact that we were so mind blown we just understood that gene expression changes within minutes. It's now known within seconds. So this is a really quick thing that changes all the time. What does that actually mean for the tangible nature of biohacking? It means that you're a different person now to who would be a different person 24 hours from now, to who would be a different person a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, 10 years from now. And if you look back and say, hey, Anthony, were well, you a different person 10 years ago? You'd say, well, Matt, of course I was a different person. I, was, I carried a lot of extra weight. I was in a very different space in my life, etc." I was like, great, well, you're a very different person back then. You needed different things for your body and for your mind back then than what you need now. And so you'll naturally start to seek that out. And we'll talk a lot about the quantum nature of reality and existence as to how and why you find and seek things that you need at that point in time. But the point is that your body has different requirements to Teresa. And Teresa's body has different requirements to you. And so it's really interesting to be able to quantify that, to understand what specific things are going to change for you and how you actually go about navigating that moving forward into the future.